Hi everyone, this is the second video on scope for the Baylor Tutoring Department's CS video set. In this video, we'll be stepping through an interesting example of how scope works with a few variables in a C++ program. So I'll be stepping through this program with the debugger, but first I'll explain a little bit about it. Right here at the top outside of main, I've instantiated a global variable G. Within the scope of main, I've created variable X, and you can pause the video at any time to read comments if you want. Then I have a nested scope with this if statement, where I create another variable G, same name as the global variable, but these two both exist at the same time. So this is a local variable G, this is global. Then I show how we can access both of them. The most local version of a variable takes precedence when printing or using. So when we print G, it prints this local variable. Then we can use the scope resolution operator, which is two colons, to access the global variable G, which is not the same as this local G. Then again, to show how G is being accessed, we set the local G to 50, print it. We change X, which is this local variable from the main scope. And then we'll go to a second nested level of scope and change X again, which shows that X can be used in any lower scope from where it was instantiated. Confirm that X was changed. Now we're back out in the um, main scope outside of this if statement, these two if statements. And so we'll go, we can print G and find that now it's referring to this global G because outside of the local scope, in the parent scope of the local scope where this local variable is created, it does not exist. So out here, we print the global G, we change it, and then we verify the change. So let's step through that with the debugger really quick here. And we can see also in our local variable pane here that it will show us all of our variables. So let's step through. We'll walk into this if statement and we'll create a local variable G. We'll print it and the global variable. So if we take a look at our output, local G is 30, global is still 10. Um, we'll set the local G to 50. You can see that changing in the watches tab down below. Uh, we'll print it. We'll set X to 60. If X is 60, we'll go down another level of scope and we'll set X to negative 10. So now that we've made it outside of this set of conditionals, um, this is the current state of our prints. So we can see local G again uh, is 50 after we changed it right here. Let's print X out here in main. You can see that X is negative 10. And now we can finally change G again here. And let's check to verify that that worked. Global G before changes is 10. Global G after changes is 20. So I hope this program has been helpful in illuminating scope and local versus global scope and nested scopes a little bit more in C++. Stay tuned for future videos on arrays. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true no matter which computer science course you are taking. However, the concepts presented in this video are referencing material currently covered in Baylor University's coursework. Remember, if you are a currently enrolled Baylor student, we offer free tutoring services. Our tutoring center is located on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You'll find all the details you need about these services on our website, www.baylor.edu slash tutoring. You may schedule a free 30-minute one-on-one tutoring session online or just drop in during any of our business hours. For more information about our current services, please visit our website. Thanks!